Uh, these two paintings are two of the most prized paintings we have in the collection of the Westfield Athenaeum. Uh, these are the Thayer sisters, uh, painted by Joseph Whiting Stock. Let me talk about Joseph Whiting Stock first because the artist, uh, there's a very interesting story about him. Uh, Joseph Whiting Stock, uh, at the age of 11, had a, a, a really bad accident. An ox cart fell on him and he was paralyzed from the waist down. And after that, he was very, as you can quite imagine, a young boy uh, losing the use of his legs. He was very depressed. And so the doctor who was helping him uh, looked for ways of things that he could do uh, uh, from a wheelchair. And so the doctor suggested that he try art. And the boy did and uh, found that he had quite a talent for painting. And so he became uh, a portrait painter uh, in the early years of the 19th century. He started kind of in the 1830s. His, his peak time to work was the 1840s and the early 1850s. These two paintings were done in 1847. And Joseph Weidenstock fits the pattern of many artists uh, at this time. Uh, they were usually, uh, we, re we refer to them today as itinerant artists. They traveled around to different locations, different cities, different towns. Uh, they would look for people who could afford uh, portraits like these. These were pretty expensive, so not everyone could afford paintings like this. So he would go into a community, look for people who wanted to have their portraits done. He would uh, paint uh, the people in town that were willing to do that, and then he would move on to a different spot. But he did maintain a studio in Springfield, his hometown. Uh, he lived there. When he wasn't on the road, he would live in Springfield and work from the studio there. In spite of the fact that he was in a, in a wheelchair, he executed over 800 paintings in his lifetime, which just seems incredible to me. He had a lot of health problems, and he died at the age of 40 from tuberculosis. Uh, so it's kind of, he had a sad, very difficult life, but he, he produced some really great work. Now, another thing about the itinerant artist in New England, uh, New England did not have uh, uh, art academies or places where you could get academic training. So most of these itinerant artists who worked in, in New England in the early uh, part of the 19th century were self-trained or they would work with uh, you know, an, another itinerant artist. So, so many, so their style has kind of a folk or primitive style to it. But in spite of the fact that they didn't have academic training, these artists, many times, the the best ones were very original, and many times they they came up with things that academic artists didn't come up with. Uh, using colors in certain ways, using uh, certain kinds of backgrounds in, uh, in certain ways. Uh, and Joseph Whiting Stock is a great example of this. Uh, uh, people who collect New England folk art today uh, really think Joseph Whiting Stock paintings are some of the best folk art of the early 19th century. Now, let's talk about the Thayer sisters. Uh, the Thayer sisters were members of one of the most uh, prominent families in Westfield in the day. Their parents had a house it was a 30-room mansion, 15 bedrooms. Now, this is in the early part of the 19th century, a 30-room mansion uh, that they lived in, and it's where Big Y is today. So if you wanted to know where it was in Westfield, it's where Big Y is on Broad Street and East Silver. In, in the 1840s, Joseph White and Stock came to, uh, came to town, and of course the Thayer sisters of the Thayer family, being one of the wealthiest families in town, could afford uh, to have these wonderful paintings uh, uh, executed. Another thing about the location, at that time that location where the Thayer mansion was located was called 100 Acres and it was right along the Little River and you can actually see the Little River uh, back in the background so you can actually see that property uh, 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 incorporated into the painting. Another th uh, aspect that's very important, you can see that both sisters are holding books um, that's not, that wasn't just a prop, just to have something to hold uh, for the city. Um, the use of books or other kinds of things that sometimes people held uh, were, sim uh, were symbolic. Patrons who, you, who held books, that was a symbol that they were literate. Not everyone was literate at that time, so this was an indication that both of these sisters were able to read. 
Um, the, these, uh, we also have portraits of the two parents, and we, but we don't know who the artists were who did the parents, but we know that Joseph Wedding Stock did these. Many of the itinerant artists work, worked almost anonymously at that time. They tended to not sign their work, and so many paintings in this time period, uh, we don't know who the artists are, but we do know that these were done by Joseph Wedding Stock. So we're, very, so we're very proud to have these paintings, and these paintings are, are featured uh, in our show Untold Stories, uh, which features uh, some of the best paintings, some of the treasures of the Westville Athenaeum collection. If you want more information on uh, the Thayer Mansion, uh, Bob Brown, in his History Talks, uh, has a whole segment about the Thayer Mansion.